Moving right along, uh, our third pitch for the day is from Matthew Edwards and Antonio Cummings. They are going to present Pitch Perfected. Hi, everyone, and thanks for coming out to listen to our pitch. My name is Matthew Edwards, and I'm a software engineer at a startup in Austin named GenXCom. And we're generating the next generation of microphotonic devices, which are really going to revolutionize wired and wireless backhaul. And I do research at UT. And my name is Antonino Cummings. I'm an IT specialist at the University of Texas at Austin. And I volunteer in the Austin area as a web developer with local nonprofits. So what we want to pitch to you today is a pitch detection application, which we've got as a working title, Pitch Perfected. So the goal of this application is to provide real-time feedback as to an amateur singer's vocal pitch as compared to the singers in their favorite songs. Right, so already there are pitch detection apps. There's tons of them. Um, many of them have hundreds of thousands of reviews and hundreds of thousands of users. And that's because they're utilities, and they accomplish their utilities very well. They're excellent for tuning instruments, but they're not really useful for singing better. Uh, so at the core of our idea is we, we understand that people want to sing, but they're afraid of singing badly. Uh, we also want to guess that most people don't really care about singing technically perfectly. They care about singing along to their favorite songs. And we can see that there's continued interest in amateur performance by looking at performative apps like TikTok and the continued uh, dominance of the amateur musician on YouTube and SoundCloud. There's a desire to sing, there's a desire to perform, but there's not really anything out there for the casual vocalist who's looking to improve. So we have two primary technical challenges when we construct this app. One of them is pitch detection, and the other one is musical source separation. So starting off with pitch detection, that's not so difficult. Real-time, low computationally intense methods for pitch detection have existed for decades, really. Um, when we think of pitch detection and when we think of vocal pitch, what we identify as, say, singing in key, singing a particular note, isn't quite what we might think. A true tone is a sine wave and sounds very pure, whereas the, when we think of human vocation, it's more varied. But there are methods for it, like I mentioned earlier. Um, as far as, um, can we go back, please, for a second? Sorry. There we go. The other technical challenge is musical source separation. So what I mean by that is when we have most vocal tracks, say, available on Spotify, those tracks are mixed signal tracks, meaning you have your accompaniment track, you may be separated for different instruments, guitars, drums, et cetera. And you also have the vocalist track, and they're all mixed together into a single track. Now, we need to run pitch detection on only the vocalist track in order for an amateur vocalist to match their vocal pitch to the vocalist. Um, and of course, the accompaniment is going to damage the fidelity of our pitch detection. So we need to separate the vocalist track from the mixed signal track. Now, there are some analytical ways to do this, which involve interpreting the accompaniment as noise in the signal processing sense. But these don't work too great, so we can't really use them for pitch detection. But what we can do is use some new data-driven methods which are being developed. Um, in particular, these are realized using neural networks, which are trained on a set of classified um, mixed signal tracks and isolated vocal tracks. The neural network is trained, and then you feed in the mixed signal track, and it reconstructs the isolated vocal track. So once we have this isolated vocal track, we run pitch detection, and voila, we have the pitch of a singer in any song that you're choosing. Just do it against your own pitch, and you have the real-time feedback. So as you can see here, we've done some preliminary application design. On this, um, on this diagram here, you can see our client-server relationship. So you'll see here, we have vocal input on the client side, which goes into pitch detection, which goes into display. Um, this is all done client side, because like I mentioned, it's very low computationally intense. It's not that complex. So we can all do that on the client side. And you'll also see here from client to server, we have an input track going to the server. Vocal isolation is done here. That's the musical source separation I was talking about earlier. This is done server side because it's computationally intense, and it can't actually be realized in real time. But what we can do is we can do this ahead of time ahead of the vocalist singing, do all that processing in here, swing it back to the client side, and as the client is singing in real time, we get the extracted pitch that we already pre-processed, and it's displayed in real time. So thus, you have your real-time singer uh, singing, of course, and that's matched against the vocalist in the track of the user's choosing. We've done some algorithmic exploration using just some web apps we built. 
This is just really testing which pitch um, detection algorithms in particular we want to use as well as which musical source separation algorithms we want to use. So what are our next steps? Uh, at the core of this, we need to validate the concept. And I think the way that we do that is with a good demo. Um, and we can look to photo editing apps to see what a demo for this might look like. Any good photo editing app will let you see what you've edited and compare it to the original. And that difference is immediate and it's striking to the user. I'm sure most people here have recorded themselves either singing or just speaking, and you kind of cringe a little bit the first time you ever hear yourself recorded because it's, it's awkward. It's not what you expected it to sound like. What I want to do is I want to compare a user's first time using our app, and then after a 5, 10, 15 minute session, we can show them how much they can improve with just a simple short session like that. We obviously, of course, also need to work on UI mockups and getting MVP to testers, like others have said, that's kind of the holy grail. And Project Innovate kind of underlies all of that. It helps us make sure that we're not hitting any blind spots. It helps us make sure that we have continual feedback in our demoing process to make sure that we're building towards something that's realistic and delivers real value to the individual here, and that we're building something that uh, people will enjoy to use. And that's all for us for now. Um, yeah, so thanks for listening to us, and we'd like to open the floor to questions. Yeah. Great. Thank you, guys. Let's open it up to the panel of judges. And Rick, please keep in mind they didn't bring their legal team. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. Uh, I'm just curious about, uh, do you have any ideas for what your demo will be? Because as a karaoke fan, I could yeah. see using this. Right? <laughs> At the very core level, I think the first step is just a simple web app that we can show people, you know, that we can, it's portable, you know, on a laptop or what have you, to very quickly kind of get an engaging experience, like karaoke, like you said, to get people going and get them excited about it, and hopefully maybe get more people out to karaoke. Um, have you looked at any groups or uh, companies that are doing this that you could pull in some of their AI data to compare it to so you don't have to start from scratch? So there are pre-trained neural networks that I, so the neural networks I described earlier, they already exist. And okay. in fact, if you Google, I'm not sure the exact search terms you can use, but I guess Google musical source separation, and they provide demos. And you can listen to those vocal tracks I mentioned that are separated from source music tracks. So the technology is already in. Firstly, uh, I loved you in that movie with Anna Kendrick. Uh, Which one? <laughs> yeah. Um, but, I'm curious, can you generalize this technology to do pitch detection not just for vocalists, but for musicians as well? So say like matching your instrumental tracks? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so as far as musical source separation is concerned, it is somewhat, there's been somewhat more effort to separate the vocalist track than the accompaniment, but there are efforts, and like I mentioned earlier with those Google searches, there are efforts to separate each individual um, instrumental track from a musical, a mixed signal. So yes, it is generalizable. Have you guys spent any time thinking about how you would um, sort of crowdsource building your content library, right? With all the backend processing, you're not gonna be able to cover all the music that's out there. How do you think you would build your library? So first steps could be using some of those pre-trained models I mentioned earlier. Um, I can envision that we could have some sort of um, a forest of classifiers of neural networks which um, are trained maybe on certain genres which we can gather from the user input tracks, maybe specified by the user, to get a better, uh, a higher fidelity pitch detection of target vocalists in, in mixed signal tracks. I also think there's a good opportunity for a partnership with like existing license holders and existing companies that are already working to build these kind of things, like karaoke companies or like uh, individual record labels or what have you. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Very well done. Uh, I think what I took away from this is that if your app is successful, you'll kill the first couple weeks of American Idol and we won't have any bad singers.